I'm here in Ramsey, Minnesota, spring break capital of the world and home of the champion extruder, the NG. Yes, I'm here at Micro Swiss where they make the NG extruder, they make the CM2 nozzles, and they make a bunch of other really incredible stuff. I get to show it to you all. Let's not waste time, let's get to work. In order to build an NG extruder, we need to create the body, and that's made from aluminum. This machine takes long pieces of aluminum and cuts them to size to fit into the mill. And apparently, I'm working today, Yay! so I get to hit the button. Look at that, the piece is done. It's now time to take it to the mill. The next step in the process is to take this raw material, the aluminum, and put it in this horizontal mill. This is a tombstone and it's four-sided and this is where they're milling all of the NG extruder bodies. What I have to do is remove these first and then I can put this in. With those pieces off, I can now load the raw aluminum that we cut over there and it should go on pretty simple. Just like that, it's loaded. This is going to take the tombstone once the rest are loaded as well and flip it around to the mill side where it's gonna throw a bunch of coolant on it as it's cutting out the shape. So all I have to do now is close the door. The first operation on this mill is done and it's created this side of the body and it looks fantastic. However, it's not finished because a second operation needs to be run, which takes off this part and then adds a few holes right here. And now the machine can work. This is the finished part from that mill. Now we have to make sure that the mill did everything within spec because we measure things down to 10 thousandths of an inch. And that's where this machine comes into play. It's a computerized CMM. And what this will do, once I put the piece into this jig, it'll be tightened down and then this machine will take this probe and probe various points of this aluminum piece that we just made and tell us whether or not it's to spec within 10 thousandths of an inch. I can't be here when it's running. This part I'm about to show you actually holds the extruder gear in place and it's made from aluminum bar stock that's cut here. It comes in a longer piece, much longer than what I can show you. It's cut to size to fit the mill behind me. So it starts out as this aluminum bar, and then the first operation comes along and makes this piece. Looks cool, but again, there is a secondary operation that needs to happen. So it then takes this piece and makes this one. We are in a factory, it is loud here. What's that sound? They are manufacturing things here at, at Micro Swiss. And another one of the things they manufacture is the tension arm for the filament in the extruder. It comes from this aluminum bar stock and it goes in this machine. And when it's done, it looks like that. Let me show you. That is the tension arm. That's the lever here that you can use on your extruder. Uh, it doesn't look finished though, does it? There's this piece on the back. Like with any milling operation, there is a second operation that happens on that side. And when it's done, it looks like this. With all the milling and lathe work being done here, you might be wondering what happens to the scrap material and it gets recycled. Aluminum is one of the easiest metals to recycle and they've also got steel, brass, and copper. It all goes out for recycling and reuse. This is steel dowel. This is a big steel rod and I'm loading it into a very special machine. This is a Swiss machine and it's essentially an automated lathe. And what this machine does is automatically feed that steel dowel through as it's making parts. It's running right now and it looks so cool to see. And what part is it making? This is the extruder gear. Fantastic invention. This is what's responsible for sending the filament down into the hot parts 
of your 3D printer. But we have to check whether or not this is up to spec. So let's go measure it. With this piece done, it's now time to inspect it. And with this geometry, you would think that it would be incredibly difficult. There's no place to really put calipers and get an accurate measurement. And that's where lasers come in. This device using lasers is able to take measurements of this tiny little gear to 10 thousandths of an inch. Watch this. <laughs> it's like magic what happens here. This gear has measurements across faces and geometry that no human would be able to do themselves without the assistance of this laser light. Well, this inspects fine. Let's head to the next step. We're now at a smaller Swiss lathe, and this one is running a piece for the CM2 nozzle. It's a two-piece nozzle from Micro Swiss, and the outer part is high-temperature copper alloy. This machine takes copper dowel, just like the other Swiss machines, and automates it through, and it spits it out right here, and then this is what it looks like. With anything made here, they have to measure to make sure it's within spec. And because this nozzle is a two-piece design, like I said, one piece has to fit into another. So let's measure this to make sure it's within spec. Perfect. We have to measure whether or not it's between these two arrows, which it is, which means this is within spec and we can carry on with the next part. That CM2 nozzle from Micro Swiss, like I said, is two parts. That copper part has to be mated with another part, and that's what this Swiss lathe is doing. It's taking high-speed steel and making that inner part. It's so tiny, though, there's a special way that it comes off of the machine, and I get to show you. I can't wait. That conveyor won't take it. It's too small. So what Micro Swiss has done has made a little 3D printed tray and a pin pushes the piece off into that tray. And look how tiny this is. So this needs to go inside of that copper piece and we get to go do that now. We're now in this really cool place where we get to measure which two of the pieces of the CM2 nozzle actually go together. This copper piece has to be paired with one of the inner pieces and we use this jig to do it. Let me turn on the air. And once I put this on here, a light will illuminate next to the proper inner piece. Look at that, 0.1557. So we take it off and we put it there. 1556, perfect. Last one, any guesses? Um, I think we all know the answer to this. 0.1555, perfect. So we've measured the nickel-plated copper pieces of the nozzles and paired it with the proper inner pieces of the nozzle, but these have to go through another step. The inner pieces go into this jig and they are hardened and then plated. And then once that operation is done, they can get paired with the proper nickel-plated copper piece. And we actually get to do that pairing right now. We're at the machine that does the pushing of the one piece into the other piece, and it uses a lot of force. But to know how much force to use, we have to teach it. So what I do is I grab a known good nozzle, I put it in the jig, and then I hit this teach button over here. This will come down and figure out how much pressure it needs to use in order to hit this position. There we go, it's done, it's figured out how much to use, so now we can do the operation we need to do, which is put the one piece into the other piece. Here it is, you can see it's just slightly started and this machine will take it the rest of the way. This green button in three, two, one. Green light, this is done. This nozzle is now proper. And you might ask yourself, well, wait a minute. I have a really good extruder. It can push plastic pretty darn hard. And I guarantee you, you're not going to be able to push plastic hard enough to make this piece come out. There's no way. Well, this is done. Now it's time to go to assembly. We're at assembly, and this is the NG extruder. And someone took my job because it's already put together. 
I got to show you how all of these incredible pieces are made to come together to make this really cool extruder, except for one, this 3D printed fan shroud. This is something made here at Micro Swiss as well on their 3D printer farm. This looks cool. Well, this is something that you can get yourself and this is what'll show up when you click that link in the description. Look, thanks to Micro Swiss for bringing us out. I showed you this NG extruder. I actually showed you that CM2 nozzle. There's a link below that you can click to check that one out as well. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Manufacture all the things. And as always, high five.